Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about what the office of the lieutenant governor entails. First, obviously, if something happens to the governor, the lieutenant would assume those roles. In the role of lieutenant, the um, individual presides over the Senate, which means you need to understand parliamentary procedure. And by understanding that, you can help direct debate and focus debate and move policy forward. My 35 years of experience in chairing nonprofits will help quite a bit with that particular aspect. The Lieutenant Governor is also the chairman of the Emergency Management Association in the state. Some of you may remember a number of years ago we had a mining crisis at Kew Creek and Lieutenant Governor Schweiker came and actually um, coordinated the first responders and all of the various aspects in that crisis. That is something the lieutenant does and the qualities there would be the ability to synthesize and to remain calm under crisis. I've raised six children, five of them are boys. You either stay calm or you get crazy. So calmness is something that I am quite capable of bringing to the table. Additionally, the lieutenant governor chairs the board of pardons and paroles. Now a pardon is when someone is exonerated of the crime, it's wiped away as if it never happened. A parole is where the crime remains but the person's allowed out of jail in an early release program. Part of what I bring to the table as a former teacher is a willingness to do my homework. And I think the ability to, to balance the scales in those kinds of decisions includes doing the homework on the individual in question to make sure that the public who actually is the client of the criminal justice system is served because the innocent folks in the public need to be protected first and foremost. And so in those decisions, it's a weighing between is this a crime that either is so heinous or has a high repeat rate, so we really don't want to take a chance, or was this a 20-year-old who did something stupid when they were young and has paid their dues and deserves an opportunity to now build a life? That's a value judgment that is based originally in making sure you are acquainted with the facts of the case and do your homework. I kind of have a reputation for that, both whether I was doing uh, education issues or in all of the other work that I've done in the government. I tend to do my homework probably because I was a teacher. In many cases, after the election, the lieutenant governor disappears from public view. I've never been a shrinking violet, and I think that that statewide platform gives a unique opportunity to bring the people's perspective to the table in public policy debates. You know, I've been very effective in, in managing and in changing what happens legislatively, both in Pennsylvania and across the country, but I've always done it from the perspective of the private citizen, someone who comes from the people so that I can speak for the people. I think that's a perspective that's really needed in government today, where politicians seem so far away and so disconnected. I think it's critically important that we have someone in the halls of government who has built a life in representing the people. You know, I'm five foot two, it's probably appropriate that I represent the little guy in politics. And I think that's something that is critically important to bring to the table. Tomorrow, we'll begin to talk about my perspective in government. What is my vision? What is my philosophy? Hope to see you then.